Bone Reaper here again with another video, another tag video by Timothy Canadian Comic Hunter. I, I'm not sure if that's the full name. I'm sorry. I usually write notes down, and I didn't write notes down today. I've just been going through boxes, getting ready for this tag, which I thought was an awesome tag, and I thought I would get into. Uh, basically, uh, the gist of the tag is to show off some... Halloween or Halloween-ish covers from your comic book collection. I think he said either 15 or 20. Listen, I'm going to do way more than that. I've been going through boxes after box, box after box, um, excuse me, and I've been finding a lot of things. I didn't go through everything, but I pulled out a lot, which I think is sufficient. And I said to myself, if I'm going to do um, something that's Halloween-ish, even though these covers are not, not necessarily related to Halloween, but some of them, I'll explain why I think they are um, uh, Halloween-ish or scary because of certain monsters or characters on the cover. That's why I chose them. But I'll explain with each one. But I also, as you know, I'm a game collector and there are a ton of horror uh, games. Maybe I should say horror-ish type characters or scary like that. But there are a ton of horror games out now that I have. I'm not going to show every one of them, but I'll show them between. Uh, when I show a comic, I'll show maybe a series of games. Because those of you out there that are interested in picking up some uh, scary games, or you may have some of them, maybe it might be cool to see. I might have to do a completely separate video showing every one of them. But more on that later. So, I think you also have to tag some people. I'm tagging the community. Um, you know, whomever wants to make it. I, I, you know, I've been... I tagged the whole community, but I'm also going to just narrow down to somebody, uh, Kyle Rowe. Um, <clears throat> I've been watching some of his videos, and I really, really like him. Uh, so it would be interesting to see what he comes up with, if he, he didn't make one already. I don't think I was tagged, per se. I don't know. I've only watched a few videos. So, you know, if you tagged me, and thank you. I, I don't know, though. Okay, let's get started. Here we go. I'll show a couple of books, and I'll show a couple of games. I'm going to show this one. Uh, let me see if I get... The reason why... you know, This is not a horror-themed book, a uh, story. But I, the reason why I'm showing it is because I think Bizarro looks absolutely creepy. He looks like a monster. And that's exactly what he is. He's a monster, a failed experiment, I, I believe, of uh, trying to duplicate Superman. And I think that that cover... Is, is, it's always been a creepy cover for me because of Bizarro, the way he looks in that cover. Here's another one. Now look at that one. Doesn't Livewire just look so evil? I think it definitely qualifies as a scary, or it's not scary, it doesn't scare you, but it's, you know, it's not your typical superhero uh, comic book cover. And that's why I chose that. Uh, I'm going to be a mishmash of the games. I'll show a couple of them here. Um, I tried to show uh, something from every system. Uh, some of these you may know, some of these you may not know. The original Castlevania. Of course, you have to show this one, Friday the 13th. I do have Nightmare on Elm Street, but it's packed away with the uh, top loader Nintendo, and that's in the closet. I'm not going to go get it. And probably the scariest game to play on the Nintendo, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. For those that know anything about that game, you know exactly why it's scary. Getting back to the comics. Now, this is a cover swipe of crime suspense stories. Oh, what number? Is it 22, 23? Um... I don't remember the number, but it was a classic Johnny Craig cover. Here, swiped for Wolverine. Uh, instead of holding the girl's head from the crime suspense, Wolverine's holding Sabretooth's head. This had to be on my uh, horror-themed uh, comic book covers. Now, this is one of my favorite Web of Spider-Man covers, and I think a few people showed this from the few that I saw, I think. Uh, Spider-Man coming out of the grave after being buried there by Craven the Hunter. Classic cover, classic cover. And I'll show another one before I get to the games. How could you not put this on there? It's a classic Gil Kane cover with Morbius. Anything with Morbius has got to count as some sort of creepy or scary cover, right? Maybe? All right, let's show some games. Uh, there we go. We'll do this real quick. Evil Dead, Fistful of Boomstick. It was a cheap game when it came out. It was like 19.99. It's kind of cheap, but it's well worth it. Bruce Campbell does the voice, thankfully, uh, as Ash, as you may know. So it's definitely worth picking up. Fatal Frame 2. I don't have the other Fatal Frame games. Kuon, real creepy. 
Rule Rose, more controversial than uh, scary. And the last PlayStation 2 game I'm going to show off, Haunting Ground. Love it. Okay, let's get back to the books. Get Grab a few more here. Trying to get through this pretty quickly because i got a lot to show. And I don't want to take up too much of your time. Swamp Thing number one. Anything with Bernie writes and must be creepy, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, at least when it comes to Swamp Thing. He, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful cover. Here we go. Another Swamp Thing. I love this cover. Look at that. Right up close. Right into Swamp Thing's face. And, of course, this one right here. Silver Surfer 3, First Mephisto. Man, that's a great cover. How could you not put something with the devil or a devilish character uh, in a video like this, right? Let's get to some more games. I, you know, I, I had to put something from N64. This is the, uh, it's in a box still. It's the uh, Castlevania 64. My hands, here's the booklet. Castlevania 64. Uh, not one of the better ones. I think the game is actually uh, broken. I think there's a part where you can't pass in the game. I don't know. I, I couldn't pass it, so I quit. Show some Genesis games. Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, before I get to the other Genesis games, here's the, the first horror game I ever played. And it was at my friend's house many, many years ago. For the TurboGrafx-16, Splatterhouse. And then they went to Genesis with... Splatterhouse 2 and Splatterhouse 3. Okay, here we go. We got two gaming magazines and a comic sandwiched in. The comic has a funny story. Well, it's not really a funny story, it's a short story. A game before a magazine when they were talking about the read the first Resident Evil from 1996. Look at that. I always love that artwork for Resident the original Resident Evil. Now, here's the comic. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What, you know, I'm sorry to not know it off the top of my head. Because, believe it or not, the funny thing about this, here we are, Dracula lives, okay? This is the first appearance of Satana. I didn't even know I had this. When I was looking through the boxes to find comics for this video, I'm like, oh, I could use this and use this. I'm like, what? I have this? I didn't even know. So that was what's so cool about doing this video. I was going through a lot of boxes. Once again, I didn't go through everything because, you know, my back is still killing me and a lot of long boxes to pick up and move. I don't think so. But <laughs> I, I'm embarrassed to say I don't even know what number this is. Where is the number? Maybe somebody could fill me in. <laughs> and the controversial Nintendo Power that I got way back in 1988. One where Castlevania 2, where Simon's holding, getting glare, Dracula's head. A lot of parents were calling, complaining, giving kids nightmares. Oh, get over it. All right, let's get to some Super Nintendo. I know with that new Super Nintendo Mini, everyone's going crazy for Super Nintendo. Nosferatu. Sort of like a Prince, and per Prince of Persia type game uh, from back in the day. And here's some more Castlevanias. You know, of course, Castlevania. Cast Super Castlevania 4. Dracula X. This is not a repro. I got this when it first came out. <laughs> Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, gaming pieces. Castlevania Rondo of Blood for the PC Engine CD. The original Resident Evil. Well, not the original. The original came in a long box, but the first Resident Evil. When they re-released it. Kadelka, which is a horror RPG type game. Real interesting. And it spawned the Shadow Hearts series. For those that played the Shadow Hearts games, that was the first one. Clock Tower. Real creepy. And, of course, the movies, everything. The first Silent Hill. Alright, let's get back to some comics. We're actually moving along quite nicely. Now I picked out some uh, Batman detective comics. I only got one detective comics here. 
Uh, what else do I want to do? Okay. Sorry. Just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Detective Comics 298, the first Silver Age Clayface, which is known as who was known as Matt Hagen. I love this book. Love it. The Clayface from the Batman the Animated Series. This is the third appearance of the Scarecrow. I wish I had the second appearance. I think that would have made a lovely addition to this video, but I don't have that one, Detective 73. But this will have to do. Uh, Batman 189. Awesome Scarecrow cover. Of course, this has to be on there. <sighs> Beautiful. Batman 227. Uh, I put this one on here because, you know, Two-Face looks monstrous. Here, uh, classic 234 by Neil Adams. Right? Yeah. And, of course, you got to have the Reaper. Right? I'm Reaper. you got to have Reaper in a Halloween video. Or a horror-themed comic book cover video. Okay, let's get through some more games. Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. Here's one that's underappreciated, Geist, which is a first-person shooter. It's sort of like Ghostbusters where you got to uh, grab ghosts and capture them and go into certain bodies, spirits. Real interesting. Here's one that's not uh, usually um, talked about. Among, uh, I mean, it's kind of uh, obscure. Call of Cthulhu, for, it's based off H.R. Lovecraft's a series. Real creepy. Comic book related here, The Darkness. And never saw an episode, but I just had to put this on here. Buffy. I like Buffy. Never saw an episode, but I like Buffy. <laughs> All right, now let's get into some uh, familiar, uh, scary, horror-themed uh, books. This right here. Now, maybe somebody could correct me on this. Eerie number one. Now, this is not the real Eerie number one. <clears throat> This is the uh, special edition uh, reprint flashback replica of Eerie Number no. 1. This came out in 1947. Now, this is the comic book form. I know Eerie came out in as a magazine sort of type series. But look at that cover. Classic bondage cover. I heard this was the first horror comic. I don't know how true that is, but it doesn't matter. It has a classic cover. Look at this. Look at that. That Nosferatu type cover. Uh, creature. I don't even know if it's a vampire. I don't remember the, reading this story. Uh, I might have read it a while ago. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is a reprint. Tales from the Crypt. I think this is Tales from the Crypt 23 originally. Is it? Does it say on here? No, they... The reason why, obviously it's a horror uh, uh, cover, really cool cover, but it's important to me because um, back in 1991, my family went on a trip uh, to Mount Vernon to see George Washington's house. You know, my father went on a business trip, and we went to uh, uh, Mount Vernon too. And I stopped into a comic book store in Baltimore. I don't remember what it was called. I doubt it's still there, but it was in some mall, and that's where I got that one. I don't have the original cover. This is actually Crypt of Terror 17, but it's reprinted as Tales from the Crypt number one because you know. That's a classic cover. Here's another reprint. It's really Crypt of Terror number 19, I think. But it's called Tales from the Crypt number 3. Great story. And my very first Tales from the Crypt book that I bought back in 1990. Tales from the Crypt, the reprint, the Gladstone, I believe, right? These are Gladstone reprints of number three, which is, I believe, this is Tales from the Crypt number 39, Undertaking Pallor. <coughs> and let me throw this one into here. Tales from the Crypt uh, number, uh, what is this one again? 34. I didn't show, I, I have my other Tales from the Crypt, I just didn't get it out. Okay, let's get back to some games. I don't have that many left to show. Xbox 360, Condemned, real creepy, very creepy. Famous Dead Space number one, first of the Dead Space series. And this one I decided to show. This is Dead Rising 2, special uh, Zombrex edition. It basically, it's a special edition where it shows you how to, it's like a combat kit on how to fight a zombie apocalypse. Now, do I have the box here? 
I must have the box in storage. It came in a box. It came with a needle pen and all that stuff. But it's really cool. What's really cool about this is it comes with a health and safety guide on how to defeat a zombie if you should encounter one. Uh, many ways to kill a zombie. A bullet to the head. A blunt object to the head. A shotgun to the head. Or a sword to cut them in half, among other things. So I thought this was a neat little thing. More comics. Yeah, I know. This, this is crazy. 15 minutes, right? Now, this is reprinted as Vault of Horror number one. It's really, uh, yeah, it's really Vault of Horror number 12. Uh, cool. Another great book. I've showed this one off before. My very first Golden Age book, Vault of Horror number 16. Beautiful. I showed this off in a previous video. Which number is this? 23. Walter Horror number 23, the staircase, the corpse coming back after. I think this was his wife. She uh, she and her lover had him murdered. So he's coming back for revenge. Another awesome, I believe this story is called Till Death, which was also on the HBO series. And look at this one. This is Starlight Star Bright Story. Uh, the madness of the characters. The guy after being locked in a coffin and then just staring at him, taunting him. Creepy. Hmm. Alright, these are the last of the games I'm going to show. Uh, one Sega CD game and three Saturn games. Nothing big. Uh, the game that started all the controversy, and this is why, in addition to Mortal Kombat, you have ratings on your video games. Night Trap, the original version, with no warning. Hmm. I'll show this one first. This one's a funny game. Hard as hell. Mr. Bones. D and a spiritual sequel to D Enemy Zero that's it for the video games like I said there's a m I have a million others but and I already showed you about you know a hundred thousand of them but yeah there are a million others I have I'm just not going to show them all now this I dare say is a Halloween or horror theme cover I showed this in my last, uh, my last haul look at it I know you're getting a lot of glare because I have the mylar on the lights on but you know what this is. This is Tales of Astonish 27, first appearance of uh, Hank or Henry Pym uh, being dragged down into the anthill. It's a creepy cover. It is. A th I think it is definitely a throwaway to those, some of those old horror comics. I mean, before they decided to hero him up. And these are the slabs now, I'm showing them, obviously. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 10, first appearance of Blade. You've got to have him, right? in a video like this. And you definitely got to have this one. House of Secrets, number 92. First appearance of Swamp Thing. Classic cover. Classic Neil Adams coming up. Detective Comics. Uh, 400. Beautiful. First appearance of Man Bat. And of course, definitely nice colors. Beautiful. Uh, Batman 232, first Raz al Ghul. Now, I'm about to close this video, but I have one more book to show, and it's, you know, it's a reprint, okay? It's, but I, might cause some controversy, but I dare say this is, maybe you could find the horror theme, or the scary theme in it. I don't know what it is. How could you say that? Well, it's got a monster on it. I mean, this is before, really, superheroes came back into the Marvel Universe, uh, this is the very first Marvel comic, and uh, Stan Lee said he wanted to do a comic that he wanted to do before quitting the business, and it, luckily it took off, and it was this series. But it has a mix of superhero uh, themes, and it also has a mix of monster themes, because I think there was a lot of that back then, you know. Coming from monsters, you see the old Journey into Mystery, uh, Tales to Astonish. You had these creatures and all that stuff. Well, that was the theme going on, at least at Marvel, before they were called Marvel, as they transitioned to Marvel with this title. But that was the theme that was going on. So I think in order to get this past his um, publisher or whatever, I don't know exactly who, Stan Lee wanted to do a superhero team, but he threw monster elements into it to maybe get the publisher to say, yeah, okay, here, do it. Just to say, what the hell? And you see that here with the Mole Man, this little deformed little 
creature living underneath the earth, sending these monsters. Because there were quite a there were quite a few monsters in this uh, book, including this one right here. And here, look, the thing is a monster. Here's a guy, even though he was in the Golden Age, this is the Silver Age version of him, a human torch, a guy on fire. So it definitely has some monster elements. Now, this may not be as scary as some of the books that I've showed or some of the books that others in the community have showed, but I do think it has that sort of monster feel to it, uh, to put it on here. This is my original copy that I got back in 1993. I have since upgraded, um, but yeah. Definitely, I would say this is a good entry to this particular tag. Thank you once again for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, uh, like I said earlier, um, Kyle Rowe, if you want to do this, great. But if not, that's fine too. But I send the tag out to the community. Anybody that wants to do this, anybody who's got a uh, scary horror theme, Halloween, whatever you want to call it, themed uh, covers, comics, games, whatever. Go crazy. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.